I'm feeling pretty excited as my good friend Jeffrey's coming up to help on the project next. After picking him up from the airport, we load the truck with the scaffolding and flooring as we have reached this point in the project. As we head north, we are once again blessed with such a beautiful day. And on the drive, we catch up with each other's lives. And then, the GoPro takes a nasty tumble. Everything seemed to be going great, so I should have taken the GoPro falling off the windshield as an omen of how this trip was going to go. But I didn't. I was just glad to have Jeffrey here. For me, it's just so good to have him here, and to have the help. For Jeffrey, this trip was a form of cabin therapy, a chance to forget the woes of life, at least for a few days. It was so good to have someone to pick on and laugh with, and we have always had that kind of friendship. This was going to be a fun trip if we could only figure out how to work well together. It never dawned on me till halfway through the day that we may have our work cut out for us. It seemed the forces were against us from the moment the GoPro fell. Talking Welcome back to Alaska Log Cabin. If I had a name for this episode, it would be it Frustration with a Happy Ending. Jeffrey is one of my favorite people in this life. Having him around check is always good for the soul. He is a unique guy with unique qualities. For example, he loves to sleep and to eat. He loves breakfast, second breakfast, and 11 Z's. You get the point. He's as close as you'll get to a hobbit in real life. Now let's watch this gentle creature. Okay. Okay. All right, here we go. Damn. All right. <laughs> All right, let's help him. So as you can see, there's no Gary with the tape measure. All right, Jeffrey. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on, let me get you here. Tell me what you're doing. I'm going to measure the uh, roof to the awning. Without so falling we, off? Without falling off, yeah. I really don't want to fall because it could hurt. Okay. And, uh, of course, I don't want you to fall either, so <laughs> be safe. Safety first, right? Well, you got out like 40 feet of tape. Well, I was doing that because I wanted to do the pull and bend thing. You know what I'm saying? And I need to be able to do that. That's what I wanted to do. Yeah, but there's cut pieces down there that we could use, right? There's Just, cut. We're gonna cut five it. Eights. So we cut the big one here, the big one there, and then we have those two other pieces down there, right? I really feel weird because I'm being filmed right now, but am I right? We'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see ya. Should I give it a thumbs up? <laughs> Just for nostalgia's sake, eh? <laughs> well, we got here about probably an hour and a half ago or so. Our intention was to work on the inside. We've removed everything that was in the way to put the scaffolding up to work on the tongue and groove. Yes, yeah, so we got the we got the flooring in the back of the truck. Unfortunately, um, we need to get the scaffolding out of the way to be able to put the subflooring down and then the flooring down. And to get the scaffolding out of the way, we need to put the tongue and groove up on the ceiling. To put the tongue and groove up on the ceiling, we need the scaffolding there. But unfortunately, we can't put the, st the scaffolding all the way up because we forgot these little things, these little metal things about this big. And they're about 140 miles away. Okay, maybe not that far. Hour and a half away, so whatever that is. It's about that far. But anyway, so we had stain, luckily, and some brushes. So this worked out okay, so we're just staining here. It's looking pretty nice. Once we get the stain on, then we can put the, uh, the plywood on top. Which Jeffrey's gonna do? Oh, yeah. uh, Howdy. Pretty kick ass hat. It keeps me from getting burned. I like freaking northern Scandinavian skin. Soft skin. Yes, my soft skin. Put the lotion on. Yeah. 
good solution on its skin. <laughs> After staining, we head south to pick up the missing scaffolding parts. Ah, smile, you're on candid camera. <laughs> Split it. <laughs> Jeffrey is not quite used to being filmed yet. And I am not used to the chaos that has been most of our day. All right, it's been a weird day. Had to drive 130 miles to go get some stuff. Then 130 miles back. And we made the mistake of taking a nap. I don't know why. The sun was out, it was beautiful. Should've been working and then we got a deluge and things went haywire lost a ton of stain and wood got all wet and I think I got overconfident because we haven't had much rain this year so we uh, said screw it let's just put this top on which we did and then ended up putting up the tarp once again so here we are under tarp again this looks familiar to y'all I'm sure not only that, not only that, but you know. But what? Uh. <laughs> oh yeah? There, it's on candy camera. See everybody, this is Jeffrey, he just mooned you. Are you really filming that? You weren't really filming. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really filming. Well, you, we can edit that. No, we won't. You gotta edit that out of there. You gotta look at the people. <laughs> Hello people. My name's Jeffrey. Yeah, I'm Jeffrey. I just mooned the camera like I'm 19 years old. So we had the uh, cabinets up there and ready to go with the flooring. Had to take them down here quickly out of that freaking rainstorm. So now we're, we're, we can't get anywhere. Every time we get to some progress in here, we get up a few more levels of TNG and then bam! And it starts raining again. Anyway, I was soaking wet, but um, we're gonna drink a beer and then regroup and then we're gonna try again. So hopefully we'll get somewhere by tomorrow. Goodbye. Regroup, Jesus, it's 10 o'clock. Yeah, there's no eating, man. Um, fuck, no wonder I'm fucking hungry. Being Jeffrey's first day here, I decided to slow down the pace and take some time for a nice supper. We started a fire to dry out and to cook some fresh sockeye fillets over. It does not get any better than this. Fish over open flame. It's gonna taste very good. It's gonna be yummy. It's gonna be yummy. Now I'm gonna crawl right into bed. Well, we've got to finish that side first. This, this we, this word you're using, I do not think it means what you think it means. <laughs> This is some sockeye. We made some mashed taters. Mixed in whatever veggies we like. Green beans. Mm -hmm. What do you think? A fish yummy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good meal over the fire. It's freaking awesome. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Oh, look so nice. Like fish cooked over a fire. The whole day, from the moment the GoPro fell, Things were just off. We couldn't get out of our own way, and the weather made us pay as well. But the ending exemplified why we started this project. Good food, a warm fire, and all the comforts of friendship. <laughs>